Hello guys! Welcome back sa panibago nating video. Sa video lesson natin ito ay didiscuss natin ang arithmetic sequence. Ipapakita din natin ang ating math pinadali technique para mas ma-enjoy ninyo ang ating discussion sa topic na ito. So para simulan ang ating discussion, let's define first an arithmetic sequence. It is a sequence where every succeeding term is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference which is represented by letter D. Now, I will show you an example of an arithmetic sequence. So we have 4, 9, 14, 19, and so on and so forth. So ang tanong dito ay bakit naging example ito ng arithmetic sequence? Kasi kapag nag-minus tayo ng dalawang magkasunod na numbers, our answers are just the same. So kung kukunin natin ang difference ng 9 and 4, ang sagot natin ay 5. Ganon din ang 14 minus 9, the answer is also 5. And 19 minus 14, the answer is also 5. So yung 5 na yon ang tinatawag nating common difference. Ang pagkakroon ng common difference ang magsasabi na ang isang sequence ay isang arithmetic. Now I will show you the formula in finding the n term of an arithmetic sequence. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Where a sub n is the last n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is our common difference. So, mas maiintindihan ninyo itong formula na ito kapag naipakita na natin yung ating mga examples. So, let's have our first example. Identify the 10th term in the sequence 5, 8, 11. So, ibig sabihin ito, kapag daw nagpatuloy yung sequence natin, ano daw yung number na pang sampo? Sa pag-identify natin ang 10th term ng sequence, gagamitin natin yung formula at mamaya gagamitin man natin yung math pinadali technique natin para mas mapabilis nating makuha yung sagot. So using the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Then, aalamin muna natin yung mga values ng ating variables. So we have n, d, and our a sub 1. Yung value ng ating n ay kung ilang lahat yung numbers natin sa sequence. At dahil nga pang sampu yung hinahanap natin, ibig sabihin sampu lahat ang numbers natin sa sequence. So therefore, n is equal to 10. To identify naman the value of our common difference or d, kumuha lang tayo ng dalawang magkasunod na number, then i-perform lang natin yung subtraction. So kukunin natin yung second number minus the first number. So we have 8 minus 5 and that is equal to 3. Therefore, D is equal to 3. Ngayon naman, para makuha natin yung A sub 1, titingnan lang natin yung unang number sa sequence. And that is 5. So A sub 1 is equal to 5. After nating ma-identify yung mga values na ito, we will now perform the substitution of these values sa ating formula. Dahil nga ang value ng n natin is equal to 10, therefore yung a sub n natin sa formula will become a sub 10. Then, kopyahin lang natin yung equal sign, and our a sub 1 is equal to 5. So, palitan lang natin yon. Then, kopyahin lang yung plus sign, then the value of our n is equal to 10. So, it will become 10 minus 1. Then, the value of our d is 3. So, papalitan lang natin yung d ng 3. So we have a sub 10 is equal to 5 plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times 3. So ang kasunod natin gagawin ay i-minus yung nasa parenthesis, yung 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. Then ibababa lang natin yung a sub 10, yung equal sign, yung 5, then yung plus sign, then yung 3 na nasa dulo. So now we will have a sub 10 is equal to 5 plus 9 times 3. Then, imumultiply naman natin yung 9 times 3, which is equal to 27. So, meron na tayong a sub 10 is equal to 5 plus 27. Then, ang kasunod namang gagawin ay iaad na natin yung 5 at 27, which is equal to 32. At yan na yung final answer natin. 32 is the 10th term in the sequence 5, 8, 11. So para naman i-check kung tama ba yung sagot natin, ipagpapatuloy lang natin yung sequence natin by adding our common difference. So we will have 5, 8, 11. Then our common difference is 3. So 11 plus 3 is equal to 14. Plus 3 is equal to 17. Plus 3 is equal to 20. 
plus 3 is equal to 23 plus 3 is equal to 26 plus 3 is equal to 29 plus 3 is equal to 32 so kung makikita natin pang 10th term o pang 10 nga sa sequence yung 32 therefore our answer is correct so ngayon naman, may ituturo ako sa inyong mat pinadali technique kung paano mas mabilis ninyong makukuha yung tamang sagot. Dito sa technique na ito, hindi na natin kailangan gumamit ng formula. Ang tatandaan lang natin ay yung letters na SMP. Sabi ng iba, samahan daw ng malalamig ang Pasko. Pero dito sa ating mat pinadali technique, ito ay to subtract, multiply, and to plus. So, ang una natin gagawin ay mag-subtract. Ano yung babawasan natin? Yung value ng n, babawasan natin ng isa. So, 10 minus 1 will become 9. Then, ang kasunod na technique natin ay to multiply yung value ng d o yung common difference, which is equal to 3. So, our answer will be 27. And that 27 will be added to a sub 1, which is equal to 5. Then our final answer will be 32. 32 is the 10th term of the sequence. So tatandaan natin sa ating mat pinadali technique na babawasan natin ng isa yung value ng n. Then itatimes sa ating d or common difference. Then ipa-plus sa ating a sub 1 or first term. Kung medyo nalito pa kayo sa ating first example, we will proceed to our example number 2 in finding the n term of the arithmetic sequence. Identify the 12th term in the sequence 2, 6, 10. So gagamitan muna natin ulit ng formula para makuha yung 12th term ng sequence. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So kailangan muna natin alamin yung values ng ating variables na n, d, at a sub 1. Dahil nga yung 12th term yung inahanap natin, so meaning the value of our n is equal to 12. At para naman makuha yung ating d or the common difference, second number minus first number or 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4. At yung a sub 1 naman natin ay makikita lang sa unahan ng ating sequence o yung pinakaunang number sa ating sequence. And that is 2. At ngayon naman ay gagawin na natin ang substitution ng ating mga values sa ating formula. Dahil ang value ng n natin ay 12, so yung a sub n ay magiging a sub 12. Then kopya lang yung equal sign. Then yung a sub 1 natin ay papalitan natin ng 2. Plus ang n natin ay 12. So it will become 12 minus 1 times the value of d which is equal to 4. Uunahin natin yung nasa parenthesis. So, 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. We will have a sub 12 is equal to 2 plus 11 times 4. Then, itatimes natin yung 11 at 4. So, it will become a sub 12 is equal to 2 plus 44. Then, we will perform the addition. 2 plus 44 is equal to 46. So our final answer will be a sub 12 is equal to 46. And that is the 12th term of the sequence. So kung i-check ulit natin, we will start with our given sequence. Then just add our common difference to identify the next terms. So we have 2, 6, 10, plus 4, that is 14, plus 4, 18, plus 4, 22, plus 4, 26 plus 4, 30 plus 4, 34 plus 4, 38 plus 4, 42 plus 4, and that is 46. So ngayon naman ay gagamitin na natin ang ating matpinadali technique to answer the same problem. Gagamitin pa rin natin ng SMP. Subtract, multiply, then plus. Sa subtract, babawasan natin ng isa yung value ng n. So, 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. Then, imumultiply natin sa value ng d, which is 4. And that is 44. And that 44 will be added to the value of a sub 1. And that is 2, which will give us 46 as our final answer. And 46 is the 12th term of the sequence. Now, we will proceed to our example number 3. A sub 1 is equal to 8. 
and D is equal to 7. Determine the value of A sub 34. So, gagamitin pa rin natin yung ating formula. Pero this time, madali nang malaman yung value ng N, D, at A sub 1. A sub 34 ang nahanap natin dito. So, the value of our N is equal to 34. Then, binigay ni yung D, which is equal to 7. And A sub 1 is equal to 8. So, proceed na tayo sa substitution ng mga values na ito sa ating formula. So, we will have A sub 34 is equal to 8 plus 34 minus 1 times 7. Then, uunahin yung nasa parenthesis. 34 minus 1 is equal to 33. So, the equation will become A sub 34 is equal to 8 plus 33 times 7. Then, it times natin yung 33 at 7. So, our answer will be 231. So, the equation will become A sub 34 is equal to 8 plus 231. Then, i-add natin yung dalawa. 8 plus 231. The answer is 239. And that is the 34th term of the sequence. Gamit ang ating mat pinadali technique na SMP, subtract, multiply, then plus, babawasan natin ng isa yung ating N or yung 34. So it will become 33. Then it times natin sa value ng D which is 7. And the answer is 231. Then i-add na natin sa A sub 1 na 8. And our final answer is also 239. Ayan, finally, siguro ay sapat na ang mga naging examples natin para at least medyo maintindihan ninyo ang idea at proseso ng pag-identify ng end term ng ating arithmetic sequence gamit ang formula at ating matpinadali technique. So ngayon naman ay mag-iiwan ako ng tatlong gawain para naman may apply ninyo ang inyong natutunan sa aralin na ito. Use the formula or the map pinadali technique to identify the end term of the following arithmetic sequences. Number 1. What is the 15th term in the sequence 1, 4, 9? What is the 39th term in the sequence 3, 10, 17? Number 3. If a sub 1 is equal to 6, d is equal to 2, what is a sub 100. Pakilagay na lang ng inyong sagot sa ating comment section. So, dito na nagtatapos ang ating mat pinadali video lesson. At kung may natutunan ka sa discussion natin ito, pwede bang pakilike at share ng ating video? At maaari ka rin mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga kasunod kong videos. Maraming salamat po!